morning everyone and welcome to another video and this photography trip wasn't really planned but it's uh it's just happened i'm actually down here at lake tower Ridding, and you'll be able to find that on your map somewhere uh, and i'm here because my son or our son michael is in an ultra marathon yet again <laughs> and the birdies last man standing and at the moment there is michael and phil left on the course and there goes michael running past now um they have covered 44 laps of a 6.71 kilometer track which they have to um, do on the hour every hour until they uh until there's only one of them standing and Michael's has won this twice and he's come back for the third so uh, anyway enough of that um, I'll put his results up at the end of this video um, but in the meantime I'll show you what I'm looking at so so the sun has come up and uh, yeah I was just gone for a wander along the shore and I found this scene here so I decided that's it I'm gonna do a little video this will only be a very short one but it's a video because I've missed missed one and you can see my minimalistic shot right here so uh, it's actually going to be one and a half seconds to capture the, the purples and the, the colors in that but it looks purple on my screen anyway so F11 ISO 100 one and a half seconds done and there's the shop now this little boy here or buoy as the Americans say I'll photoshop that out and get rid of it and it will just be the minimalistic photo uh, which I might just adjust a little bit to get a little bit more white at the top but yeah quite a little scene a little bit of mist across there beautiful and of course who can't resist a square crop Bracketing shots, one and a half stops. There's the square crop, seventh of a second, F11, ISO 100, and I'm at oh, whatever that is, about 150 mil, I guess. Just beautiful, and the fogs come in, and uh, Along here is the shoreline, the lake line. The fog's come in and got rid of all the trees. How good is that? So now I'm going to wander down here a bit and shoot straight straight out that way. There's a slightly easier shot with that uh, dead tree in the water. Square crop. Looks just like that. And it's so peaceful here at the moment. You can hear the birds. That's about it. All the campers are down over there where the race is being run from. <laughs> yes, so the Australian record is 48 laps and they've just done 45. So I'm going to suggest that it'll fall unless one of them stops because both of them have to be running before anyone can win it. So the premise is that uh, you and I are running and you and I, or one of us stops, so the other one completes the next lap and that is the end of the race because whoever that is, is the last man standing. Absolutely amazing um, competition. 140 odd runners and we're down to two. Just doing a little pano here of these three, um, of these three dead uh, trees. It's going to be rather interesting. I'm not sure whether it's going to work because I am actually getting some of this rubbish here. So that might be another Photoshop job to um, get rid of those. And of course the the boy out the back, or the two boys out the back. And now I'm going to swap lenses, put my 17 to 40 on, and uh, use that and some of this weed on the foreground to see if I can get a good shot that way. 
Oh, I'm just going to leave you with this little scene. I'm taking a few photos of it and individual bits, and I'll show you those shortly. But in the meantime, from uh, Lake Towering in Western Australia, I'll just say uh, thanks very much for watching. It was a very short video. Hope you like it. And uh, if you did like it, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I do the next one, which hopefully will be soon. So, from Lake Towering, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.